members go through three different sections. They go through a CAD section with me, they go through a physics demo section with Tyler, and they go through a physics experiment sections with Mike. They went through and they learned about moving machines, so they used a software called Mechit to make a moving machine of a piston, and they learned how uh, different types of motors, like plane motors, electric motors, uh, car motors, how all of those different pieces work, and then they made a piston configuration in Mechit. Uh, we're talking about designing uh, vehicle transporta transportation, some sort of vehicle for the future. And so what's going on is we're sending them through a bunch of different things, the gauntlet, so you say, of knowledge. Uh, so specifically what I'm working on is I'm going to be relating to all the physics, the principles, the basic ideas of a lot of different things that go on in the world, explaining so they hopefully can at least begin to understand like, hey, there's forces and different things along those lines, electricity, magnetism, things that are related in that regard, and doing some fun, cool things associated with that. In our other groups, we're specifically working on the engineering side. So we have an engineer here who has to do with like 3D printing, AutoCAD, things along those lines. So the campus get an experience on real world application of the awesome that is physics. Today in the 3D pens lab, they did cars where they had to design um, a car with a bumper and they could use the 3D pens to help aid their bumper to keep the person in the car safe. So they learned about how cars can keep people safe. And then they did crash testing by running their cars into the wall and they were trying to create crumple zones or other things that would allow the car to, instead of all the energy going into the little mascot that was sitting in the car, for it to go into the crumple zone. Talk about eddy currents, electromagnetic braking. I showed examples of how forces can be induced on currents and magnetic fields and the relationship between all of them. And specifically, what we got to talk about today is some more applications for hopefully near future stuff related to superconductivity um, and how, like, the idea is that we can get a superconductor working at room temperature, uh, we can then have zero friction, uh, zero, well, zero resistance running through different uh, systems which allow them to work better and hopefully have our transportation and many different electronics work better in the future. Next year, we'll be doing a lot more. We'll be doing more in CAD. We're hoping to get some. Uh, extra 3D printers so that they can print off some more of their things. Um, every time they can learn and improve on, for example, their bumper design this year, they can take away stuff that they learned that worked and didn't work this year and maybe make a better bumper next year. So it's really nice in this camp that the campers get to go through three separate sections. It allows them to learn about uh, one concept. For example, if they're learning about motors, they made an electric motor in Mike's section. They learned about the different pieces of a car motor and made a motor in CAD in my section and then learned about the equations and how the forces work over in Tyler's section so they can see like three different components of one concept and see it presented to them in three different ways. So I think it's really nice that they can go through the three different instructions and kind of build on that knowledge as they go through. This camp I think is really good for anybody that has an interest in motors, that has an interest in 3D and physics and things like that. It's a super fun camp. You get to watch college level demos that you probably won't get to see until you're in a college level classroom, which is really cool. You get to play around with 3D pens and 3D printers, maybe in ways that you don't get to play around with them at school and create designs that maybe you're more into. And you get to play with motors and actually create your own things that you get to take home with you and play with after camp ends. So that's also pretty cool.